Welcome to Mike's Educational Vlog. This week we're looking at how to use green screens in Adobe Premiere Element 7. Now the first thing you've got to do is make sure that you've got everything set up prior to filming anything to use in Adobe Premiere 7 because proper setup is going to ensure you the best results. I like to call it screen, lights, action. Do those three things and you'll get the best results and you'll have the best, you know, look the best in Adobe Premiere 7. So let's take a look at that first element, the screen. Now behind me you'll see I've got a green screen. And what I've used here is just a simple wall that I found here at our school in an uh, old storage room that nobody's using. And I've just taken cheap uh, paper that we have lots of here at the school, green construction paper, and taped it to the wall. Now when I've taped it, I've made sure that I have no seams. So when I was putting this together, I made sure that it was flat. I tried to stretch the paper as tight as possible to minimize any types of shadows. Any type of shadow or uh, anything in there, when you go to chroma key it, it will pick up on that and it will make the whole process for you a bit harder. So the first element is making sure that you have a good screen. It's flat and no shadows. The second element is lighting. And as you can see here, I've got lots of light on me, and as you can see, I move around, you can see there are some shadows on myself, so I would have to keep that uh, in mind when I video, trying to keep uh, as minimal shadows as possible. And what I'm using here are three lights plus the overhead uh, fluorescent lighting, and that's giving me my back lighting for my subject. I've also got stuff for my front lighting, um, which are three lights that are right up in here, I'll show you here in a minute, and then two uh, really bright work lights. So I'm being flooded from light from above, behind, in front, and the sides. And this again is to minimize shadows. So when you stand in front of the green screen like I was a moment ago, you'll see I've got the lights up here at the top. These are the lights used on my subject. I've got backlighting here from the fluorescent light lights from the subject as well. And then to the left I have a thousand watt work light and to the right I have a thousand watt work light. These work lights are relatively cheap. I picked this set up for right around $40. Uh, they're real simple. You just plug them in. They've got the switches on the back. You can adjust each individual light or the whole light fixture itself. Now they do get hot and when, since I work with junior high kids I do keep the screen on the front here so that they don't stick their fingers in and get burned. But uh, you do want to make sure they're supervised and don't leave these on because, like I said, they do put out heat. Now these light fixtures will put out a little bit of a shadow, but in most cases, if the lights are far enough back, you'll be able to chroma key those out just fine. So it's a good set of work lights. It's a lot cheaper than going out and buying the uh, professional style lights. Like I said, these are only $40. So as you can see, once I have everything lit up, I've got the lights at the top shining on my subject, a light for the, behind them, two lights actually, fluorescent lights giving backlighting for my subject. And then on the green screen itself I also have the work light from the left shining onto the wall and the work light on the right shining onto the wall. This provides me a relatively shadow free area to uh, a shadow free place for my green screen to allow me to get the best results. So now that we've done the green screen and we've adjusted our lighting, it's time for the action part of this process. This is the process that is the fun part, replacing the green screen with uh, an image that you would like. So you can place yourself in places like San Francisco, space, a newsroom, a variety of different locations. You can even have video playing behind you. And this is what we, the fun part. So let's take a look at how to remove this green screen in Adobe Premiere Elements 7. I've taken my raw footage and I've placed it into video number 2. This allows me to leave video track 1 open here and video track 3 open that is up here above it. Now video track 3 would be used to put in titles or anything that you would like to be placed on top of your video and video 1 allows us to put things in behind your video track in video number two. So we've got our video placed in there and in Adobe Premiere Element 7 we want to go up and we want to select our background. So we will go up here to our media center 
and we'll say we'll just take this background here and we'll place this in video track number one and then we'll lengthen this out so that it's the same length as our video now you notice we don't see anything in our background here and that's because we have to create the effect that green screen effect chroma key out this this green and replace it with our background here in video number one to do that we go to edit and we will select effects which is shown here now because I've got this minimized so it's easier to see I will go to my menu and I click on where it says show all and I will go to keying and in here I will look for green screen key and here we see it located right here so I will click on it and I will drag this down and place this onto the video that I would like to apply this to and you'll know the effect is placed in there when you see the red line coming across the top here on your timeline and you'll also notice that we have the background now is showing up behind us and you'll see that we're a little bit transparent um, the image isn't quite as clear as we would like it to be so the next step would be going to the preference button or the properties button and this is where we could select how we want things to look so when I click on the properties you'll see a menu pop up and again I'm going to want to select green screen key now in the green screen key you'll see two sliding bars threshold which controls the amount of shadows in the range of color that you've keyed out so in my greens controls the amount of different types of color this uh, will help you in case your lighting is a little off and uh, the higher values retain you know they tend to retain more shadows so you, c you can key these out and we can see how this will change the image as I slide it we also have the cutoff and the cutoff darkens or lights lightens shadows and you can see I've got some shadows in here and they tend to be a little bit transparent so the, if I just simply increase the cutoff you'll see that those shadows then become less transparent so I can adjust these two to where I think they they look the best I think we're looking pretty good there and then the smoothing button here right now I have selected none and smoothing specifies the amount of um, transparency between between regions so you can have smoother edges you could have more sharper edges um, it's useful when you want to really you know keep things really sharp crisp and clean um, like in titles and stuff um, but for the most cases I find that using just the p plain low is good for actual uh, video with a background kind of a, a low um, a smoothing effect so now that I've got it the way that I would like I can kind of roll this back here and I can see how this this image would look as I move through and that is simply all you need to do to replace the green screen now you'll notice also under effects that there was one called a chroma key now the problem chroma key is for specifying a specific color uh, so if I wanted to maybe make these blue deals back here transparent this is what I would use the actual chroma key for now you can use the chroma key and do the whole background of the green but in Adobe Premiere Element 7 this green screen key definitely works the best it's much easier and it'll be much quicker uh, for you to apply your effect so that's it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope you understand now how to basically remove that green screen in Adobe Premiere Element 7 and I will see you here next time on Mike's Educational Vlog